Uh, hi, my name is Ayush and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to import 3D Max 3DS models into Unity 3D. So to do that, first thing you need to do is download the Autodesk software called Autodesk FBX Converter, which I've shown right here. You could Google it and if you click here it'll go to this page so um, we need to download this download free plugins FBX converter and click here and these are the updates to that so we go straight down here and click on this one it's called FBX converter for Windows 2011.3.1 I click here and I run it um, the installation is straightforward as in any, in the case of any other software now once you've installed the converter once you've con installed it uh, it looks like this um, FBX there you go it looks like this now uh, next thing you need to do is download some 3D models um, uh, I'm gonna download this 3D model from this site, artist-3d.com. It's got free 3D Studio Max models, which you could download and use it. So um, I've downloaded a couple of models. Um, example for this one, the download button's right here. It's it's a small link actually, which you can click here and you can download it and now once you have downloaded it you click on the Autodesk um, the, the this application and then you click on add uh, now I want to convert this model so I click on convert right here um, yes so this gets converted right away similarly um, remove all and you could do multiple files at a time for example I do this modern home open add um, playground slides um, add playground open and then I do a convert here apply to all yes now depending upon the complexity of the file some files may not be converted at all so um, uh, if it doesn't get converted you might want to open your 3ds max and export it into something else like for example, um, this only converts these many files. Now, if now if the three if your three D Max model is in top Max format, which um, for example um, is in this case, some of them have three D uh, for example maybe. Um, Now the, the, you can see the format right here. It's in 3ds uh, format, but sometimes uh, some of your models may be in dot max format, um, which, like like the one here, it's in dot max. It says dot max format right here. Now this converter cannot convert dot max files. Uh, it can only convert these many file types. So um, if you got a .max file format, uh, you would want to export it into a 3ds object or something like that. Now I cancel this, and we're done with this. So we close this. Next, we go to we open Unity. Now um, here I've created a ter created uh, terrain. It, it's a simple terrain. 
I put up some trees, I put some water and um, painted the terrain using these textures so um, it's a simple terrain, nothing much actually so what we do is you go to assets and then you click on import a new asset it's not importing a package, it's importing a new asset you click here, a dialog box opens right here so um, this is my file path so I copy this um, so I copy copy this right here and then I paste it here it opens up this so um, so first thing is I'd like to down suppose uh, we put this I do an import it imports this model and I drag this model right here now there you go there we have um, a playground slide now mm, if I click on this I drag this playground right here so that it's on the sand make sure the y-axis remains above zero um, put this over zero great and we scale it down a bit to 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 so let's see so when we play um it's right here uh sometimes uh, especially if the models have animations uh, it may give some errors so to, to import it error free uncheck this and do this now you see this small play playground right here mm. okay so um, next thing I want to do is I'm going to import some more assets like um, let's import uh, modern home and let's import a playground slide there you go playground slide uh, this is just playground oh this is just a slide so let's Point three, point three, point three. Same with the playground. Um, point three, point three, point three. I move in X position is fifty. Uh, The position is 70. Uh, looking from Y. So let's put this playground here. And let's put this slide here. So our scene looks like this currently. There are two slides. So um, let's import the home as well. Uh, let's uncheck the animation okay when we render the scene uh, there's a small home you may want to enlarge this a bit so that it covers up um, two 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 let's see if still small enough so maybe we scale it five times so that's big um, so one more thing I'd like to add is a third person controller to this uh, it's got a default Super Mario type of character inside it so um, construction worker actually mm. 
Okay. Um, X one five. So when I do this, oops. Mm, position two two two. There you go. So um, with this, there's a plumber running around. He can go visit houses. Um, right now it's a, pa a pass-through house. Nothing, and he could go to the playground, where there's a slide. Right here. Now, uh, if you're confused on how to scale this slide then the, I think the best way to do is put a character like this around here and based on the character you um, set the size of the slides or such houses um, for example there is a playground let me uncheck the animation so that it remains right here these slides too big so let's scale it to point 0.1 So there you go, there's a house. And there are some slides. Um, which are pretty much of the size of the character. Like for example, this is pretty much, it's still big though. Um, same with this. It's still big, so maybe, um, and it's high above the ground, so we lower it down, putting a zero here, and then for the playground, it's let's do a point one, point one, point one. I think it's still big, so let's make it point five, point zero five, point sorry point zero five here um and um third person controller let's put the controller here so that we don't have to move around much and then for the house here's the modern home we go to component and we add a box collider we do it when we do a box collider um it prevents the plumber from going through the house now he can, now he can't enter this house as in the previous case where he could freely move in through the house now I'm we go here the slides look pretty realistic it now looks like a kids slide and then there is a place where the kids play to now you could add box colliders to these as well so that um, they become more realistic and and the plumber cannot actually pass through here like this um, so this is how you import the 3ds objects into into unity 3d Mm-hmm.